Hey guys, it's Kez, and today we're playing Shadowgate. It's actually really loud, so there you go. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I saw that the Sweeney one was playing this on his uh, live wire today, and I thought, you know what? Yeah, I'm not really in the mood for a long game like Dark Cloud or Black and White today. I mean, I just did a bunch of yard work, so I'm kind of beat. <laughs> so I'm gonna find down with this game, and then uh, I'm probably going to start another uh, like short-term-ish Let's Play series after this. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of playing what I want right now until I'm ready to get back to, you know, doing shitty games like Avion. Anyway, uh, there were a couple of things I wanted to try. First, I wanted to move this, but apparently I can't. Uh, let's look at the bones. Can I take the bones? Okay, thoroughly rattled, you choose not to disturb the skeleton. Uh, can I open the bones? Nothing interests you. Okay, well, whatever. Let's just go through this door. And uh, you'll notice a couple of things have changed. Now, the music is back to its old retro style, which I just adore. I love, love the NES version of this music, or I guess the old version of this music. I don't know whether this came out on uh, Commodore or old DOS computers or anything, but this music is... Oh, it, it makes the experience so much better for me. And you'll also notice whenever I go into another room or another area that the transitions have changed. And that is also a callback to the older version of this game. But yeah, um, you'll also notice that in this room in particular, I've managed to light this torch. And you'll see that there are little slots right in front of each of these torches. So I can actually uh, use them and pull them down. Uh, if you watched before, you'll notice that I wasn't able to take any of these torches, but I can light them, and I can pull them down. So now that they're all lit, um, I don't have to worry about light going out in this room, I guess. But yeah, let's just pull this down. Okay, and this is moved. You hear a mechanism release and then a rumbling beneath you. You jump back as the tomb in the center of the room slowly moves the floor revealing a stairway down. Okay, ignore that. That was weird. Uh, let's use this and see what happens. You can't pull the torch downwards. It appears to be stuck in place. Anyway, let's just go downstairs. Ooh, this room. I remember this room. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and take these torches. This room reminds you of the Elven Fun House at King Otto's Fair. You remember talking- or sorry, taking your sister, hoping to lose her in the reflective maze. Now, I'm going to save here, but some of my favorite ways to die are in this room. There we go. At least assuming that the deaths are the same between this version and the version I played as a kid and then again as a teenager. And then again when I was, like, 20. Take the room. Let's just take everything that isn't nailed down. Okay. Is that everything? Okay, each of these is a mirror, so... The reflection of the mirror is a distorted image of yourself. Your head looks much larger than the rest of your body. You admire the dashing figure you see in the mirror. As you look at your reflection in the mirror, it bulges out a bit as if something is pushing it from the other side. Although dusty, the surface of this mirror casts a fine reflection of yourself. You catch some movement behind your reflection. You jump back in surprise before looking around the room. But there's nothing there. The surface on this mirror appears warped in an odd way. Either that or your hips really are that big. Hey, I resent that. Now I can actually break these and then stuff happens. You hit the mirror with a quick reflexive, oh, sorry, with a quick effective jab. I probably should have warmed up more. The mirror shatters with a crash and a tinkle of glass. I was wondering if you happen to see my sister around here. I've been looking for her for ages. You'll find she's the spitting image of me, Yorick says wistfully. Okay. There is death behind these mirrors, so if I hit another one... You nearly break your knuckles. Perhaps it's enchanted. Is it this one? This one. I might need that hammer that the uh, dragon is guarding. You have the glass with a quick effective jab. The mirror cracks revealing metal underneath. Ooh. You strike the mirror with a quick, effective jab. The glass shatters with a crash. Hmm. Jagged pieces. 
Jagged crack. Little can be seen behind the broken glass. Hmm. It's weird. I remember it used to be if you broke some of these, you got, uh, I think one sucked you into the void of space and another one just exploded and embedded glass in like your brain. Gruesome stuff. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna save again real quick. There we go. And then I think this is a death trap. Look. Seated at the bottom of the opening is a metal door and locked securely in place. Uh, let's go. There's a metal plate? Where? Open? You tug on the hatch, but to no avail. It appears to be secured from below. Hmm. Now, unless I'm mistaken here, and apparently it looks like my memory is not serving me very well, or the games are just that different. But, uh, yeah, I think you actually need to make your way up to here with, like, a ladder spell or something similar. And I seem to remember that there used to be a path behind some of these. There I go. Hmm. Anyway, if any of you have played any of the older games, uh, you let me know whether I'm crazy or not. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to go back in here. Teeth chattering, you stand within the cold cellar, hugging yourself for warmth. A creature made of ice hovers playfully on the far side of the room. I use a broom to whack at it. Aww. Uh, can I speak to you? Blows air in my face. Well, whatever. Let's open this. Let's go. Okay, so there's a skull with some glasses. A spear. A shield that didn't do me any good. A helmet, it looks like. A hammer that I'm going to need to break that glass. A chest. And we already know that this doesn't do me any fucking good. So maybe if I use this shield? Use a shield on the dragon? With halting shaky steps, you move towards the dragon. The dragon shifts its weight and gathers a breath. Okay, so I can't grab that. Oh well. BRB. Bye bye, dragon. Again. Oh, this is the best, best death. <laughs> this is the best death music. Huh. It is a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Oh, that's so much better. This music. I'm just gonna shut up and listen for a minute. Okay. Well, let's talk to Yorick. Yorick, give me a tip. Blackmere is the one who brought you here. You should seek him out. Look for an obelisk. Not helpful. Okay, let's go. That doesn't look like an obelisk. Sorry, I know I just got really quiet, but I'm just trying something here. Okay, use this spell on this thing. Uh, that was weird. Um, anyway, the spell didn't work. I accidentally clicked on, um, audition. <laughs> My bad. Oh, let's get out of here. Actually, can I use this to set him on fire? Oh, okay. Can I look at this any further? Only death to those who disturb the sacred altar. Can I speak to it? Huh. Okay. Shit. Uh, is there anywhere else I can go? Well, what am I supposed to do with these? They seem discern- or, uh, discernible? No. Well, that's not the right word, but you guys know what I mean. It doesn't seem any different from the others. Perhaps the mechanism is not properly powered. Uh, 
Uh, maybe if I use it on one of the adjacent gears. Okay. Something just beyond the deer, uh, beyond the door seems to have come alive. Okay, let's try this again. How can I use this? Oh, I can. With an ear-splitting screech of protests, the gears try to spin. So that the silence is almost deafening. That didn't sound right. Might want to try again. Are you sure you know what your quest is? Shut up, Yorick! Uh, can I use it now? Okay, uh, use? Can I take this? Can I use this here? I'm gonna cheat. Be right back. Oh, I see. These are lever combinations. I didn't see that before. So all the way down, all the way down, all the way up. And then we put a gear back. And then we use this thing. The mechanism glows, vibrates, and begins to move. You can hear the sound of rushing water deep within the castle. Well, that sounded encouraging, eh, boy? Should probably- oh. Should probably go see what that just did! I keep forgetting that it, uh, I give these characters voices sometimes. Uh, okay. Actually, yeah, let's go back. And let's think back on the only room that we know of that has any water. Let's just use this on this before our torch burns out. Okay. Now we can go this way. This is where the water was. Oh. Water is. Here we go. Okay. Only a trickle of water can be heard moving within the shallow underground riverbed. Now we should be able to go through that space. Oh. This looks foreboding. Okay, but I can probably take that skull. The small cave makes a great hideaway, concealed as it is by the waterfall. This corpse's dress was once a regal set of robes. Blood stains the collar, perhaps providing a clue to what killed this unfortunate soul. You notice strange symbols on the forehead. The mark is not carved, but rather fused into the bone. Pig! Pick up the skull and feel a faint trace of power, just like the other one. Okay, let's look at this. It's a bird. It's firmly attached to the wall. Probably attached to the wall. And what's this? The symbols etched on the wall look something like the written language of the Steps Magi, who are traveling, who are a traveling troupe of performers and fortune tellers. You remember visiting one such carnival in your youth at Stormhaven. Neat. Okay, can we take anything from you? Change your mind. <laughs> Deciding is not necessary. To take the corpse. Can I take this? Cannot take. Cannot take. Okay, uh, what's this? Are these rocks? Fox lies pattern on one side. Take, take. Okay, cool. Got some rocks. Useful. Let's just go. One more. Okay. More than one more. I just gotta get back to the gears. There we go. Okay, and now... Let's use this on this to reveal the other pattern. So it's middle way down, middle way down, all the way down. Okay, so... Middle way down, middle way down, all the way down. Gears. Use. The gears come to life and rotate. You hear the rush of water somewhere nearby. You hear that? That sounds promising indeed. 
Sure does, Yorick. <laughs> 